Hello friends, welcome to Art Peace YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making the color violet and then we're going to paint these balloons. So I included a link in the description box for you to download and paint along with me. Alright, so let's begin. Here are the colors that you need. Red, blue, white. You need a, you need a cup of water. Um, spatula is optional. Um, paint brushes. I have a um, thin, a small thin paintbrush. Um, we're probably not going to use a thick paintbrush, so stick to a small thin paintbrush. And then I have color pencils. I have black and white. I have a palette for mixing the colors and then I have my um, I have a paper towel for cleanup. Let's see, am I missing anything? So I have paint, water, brushes, pencils, palette, um, Something for mixing, paper towel, have the paper that I that I printed out, a cardboard to put the paper on so that it has support while it's on the easel. So easel, cardboard, paper, palette, um, spatula, pencils, paper towel, paint, water. I think we are all set. To make violet. You need red and blue. Now red and blue are primary colors. That means no color can be mixed to make red or blue. But if you mix these two together, you can make a secondary color. In this case, we are making violet. I've already made violet here. Uh, but it is kind of drying out, so I'm going to show you what I did. So you're going to need more drops of red than blue. This is if you're using the Craft Smart Tempera paint, but it depends on what paint you use and what brand of paint you use. So it will be different. So I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six drops of red. And then I'm going to have one drop of blue. And then I'm going to use my um, spatula to mix it. And there we have Violet. Violet. I'm going to put that in the water. The next thing I'm going to do is take my brush and I'm going to dip it in the water. So if you have a palette, you can also use a paper plate as a palette but you just need something to mix the paint on and it has to be white so that you can see the colors as it's being mixed. So I'm going to mix it on here so that you can see and then I'm going to keep dipping it in the water to kind of um, what do you what would be the best way to say this? Um, to thin out the paint. So I don't want a um, dark color paint, so to lighten the color, I add water. If you were using acrylic, you would add white, but in this case, you since we're using tempered paint, we'll add water to, um, to lighten the color. Now, for these balloons, I'm going to start with the ones in the back. 
Now the reason why I'm going to start with the ones in the back is because it is going to be easier to paint the ones in the front if you paint the ones in the back first. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm dipping it in the paint. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to start with this one first. So I'm going around the edges of the balloon, trying not to paint outside of the line, doing the best that I can. And I'm not going to paint the little part where the balloon is tied yet. I'm going to save that for later. And then I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to paint the other side of the balloon. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I can see the entire balloon. So that's why I'm painting that first. And then I'm just going to keep dipping my paint in the water. And I'm going to paint this in first balloon. It's actually in the back. I'm painting it violet. Now when we're finished with this picture, we want it to look like there are five balloons. See, one, two, three, four, five. And it's easy to paint it and not, um, it's easy to paint and then accidentally cover up all the balloons so it doesn't look like five. So we're trying our best not to do that today. Now, I see that this balloon here comes right around there, so I'm going to do the outline so that I remember later that that balloon starts there. So that is going to be a little darker than the rest of this first balloon. I don't want to lose this line here. So later on I may darken it so that we don't forget that the balloon that's on top goes here. Okay, I got the first balloon. Next, I'm going to do the balloon that is in the middle, which is also a balloon that's behind. So these two balloons are on top, these three are behind. Start at the top like that. And I'm going to outline the balloon with my paintbrush. And I'm not painting the tie part of the balloon yet. I'm going to save that for later. And 
then I'm going to finish filling in. This would be balloon number, I guess, three. If we're starting from the left to the right, this would be balloon number three. And I'm trying not to lose the shape of this balloon. And I'm filling in all the spaces that are white. So I am almost finished painting this third balloon. Need more water. Now also what I just noticed is that I don't want to lose this balloon here, so I'm going to, with the full paint, I'm going to outline this balloon so that I don't forget that that's where it starts. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. when I start painting this would be the fourth balloon and the second balloon which are the balloons that are on top um, they won't get lost in these balloons here so now I'm going to paint the fifth balloon I'm trying to get all of the balloon without going out of the line. It helps that it has a picture that there's a picture underneath so that my balloon doesn't look crazy. My brush is too dry, so I'm going to put water in it. You also don't want to make the paper too wet because if it is too wet, it will rip. That's the bad part of painting on paper.
Now the same thing with the other, with this balloon, balloon and this balloon. We have the fourth balloon coming into the fifth, so I'm going to do the darker part of the paint. I'm not going to dilute it at all, or I'm not going to add water to the paint, so that I can see that this balloon ends here. Covered so I don't forget to do that later, and then I'll just fill, fill in the white spaces of the last balloon or the fifth balloon, I should say. Alright, I'm going to now start working on the second and the fourth balloon. So I'm going to start with the top. Trying my best not to paint out of the line, uh, but that's not really working out too well for me, but that's okay. Then I'm going to pretend like I didn't paint this earlier and go over it again. to complete the second balloon. So we have one more balloon to paint. And that will be balloon number four. So I'm going to go over and outline the top of the balloon with my paintbrush. Alright, now I'm filling in all the white spaces.
Okay, so I have all my balloons painted. Now I'm going to paint the bottom where the balloon ties. I'm going to paint that part. Then I'm going to go to the next one and do the same thing. and do the same thing. Then I'm going to go to the next one. And do the same thing. I have too much uh, water dripping off of my brush. Oh, that was paint. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over these little squiggly lines with the paint. So I'm going to go like that. I'm going to try the next one. And I'm going to try the next one. And the last one. Now you see where they all tie together. Now I'm going to do that. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do before I let it dry is I'm going to go and dip the brush directly into the paint and kind of go a little bit over the balloons that are in the front. That's balloon number two and balloon number four. I'm going to go over All right, so now I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to do the next step, which is detailing. So if you are five and under, you are done. This, um, your picture is finished. You have your purple balloons or your violet balloons. But anybody over the age of five that wants a little bit more of a challenge, 
you can join me for part two. We're going to be using white color pencil, white paint, and a black color pencil to do the details in the balloons. See you soon.